I come to the final point, which is perspectives that dislocate. And I insist on the E way. So, on the fact that you move your place. And I want to talk about these pictures by Nadal. And here we enter a little bit into the spirituality of Matteo Ricci. One of the important elements in his spirituality are the spiritual exercises by Ignatius of Loyola. What are the spiritual exercises? This is a way of prayer so that you enter into the story of the Gospels and by entering into the story of the Gospels you learn to discern and to decide about what you can do in this life today. Okay? So it is made to make the Gospel alive in your own life. Okay? Now, he does that by praying with the Gospels. So when we pray, there are different ways of praying. We can pray the Holy Father, we can pray the recitative prayer, but we can also pray with the Gospel. And then when we pray with the Gospel, what he says is that you have to use your imagination. So it's important to use images, imagination. And he says you have to make a composition of the place. What means that when we have a story of the Gospel, for instance, uh, this uh, Annunciation, the first thing he says, imagine the house of Mary and how this house is uh, organized and how an angel enters into that house. And so you can do that with any Gospel story. Eh? Jesus is walking on the street and there is a uh, uh, a blind person coming there. And then, and so imagine a street, Jesus walking there, his apostles around there, and you see, you are already starting to imagine. Okay, and that's what he says that you have to do. Now, when Nadal was printing his books, he wanted to do that also. And he said, when I write my book about these uh, gospel stories, I will add these images. But then there is a problem by adding an image. Because an image can help you to enforce your imagination, but it can also limit your imagination. Because you have to find the scene in your own life and not just in history. So there is kind of tension. And so what Nadal will do is to introduce some elements in these images that you have to move with your mind. And that is a dislocation. That in Chinese tradition, you have the same kind of mental imagination. For instance, in Buddhist tradition, you have this book, eh? the Fo Shuoguan Boyang Shou Fo Jing, which is a book telling how you have to meditate and you have to meditate through all kinds of uh, imaginations, all kinds of meditations of different scenes. So look at this structure, and look at the structure of this text here. You see a major scene, and on the side you have all kinds of other scenes which you can imagine and which we could, you can comp contemplate. We go a step further, to the Buddhist one, and you see that each of these small scenes is a specific meditation, and eh? a contemplation of the setting sun, the contemplation of the water, the contemplation of the travel ponds and pavilions, and so on. So, we already see that this kind of mental displacements are not, um, let's say, completely different from Chinese culture, because you have them also in Chinese culture in certain techniques of meditation. So, what it is about eh, is, in Chinese, there is a major notion that is this Tian, eh, and Tian appears in very important notions just as Kung Tian, Shi Tian, Shi Tian, and uh, so this is a key notion, the in-betweenness. Eh? 
and it is through the in-betweenness that encounters take place and also that people are displaced. Okay? When we talk about Matteo Ricci, it is not about Matteo Ricci. It is not about Shibon Chi. It is about what happened between them and the fact that both were displaced, not only physically, but also mentally, because they entered both in another culture. 